If your tow light model is equipped with the optional DSI 110 water heater, uh, inside the trailer you'll find a panel like this. The panel has two switches. On the left side is for the 110 volt operation. On the right side is for the LP gas operation. To turn the 110 volt switch on, you simply switch it to the up position. Turn it off, you switch it down. If you choose to use the LP gas portion of the water heater, you simply switch it to the up position. At that time, it will attempt to light. If it makes three attempts to light, it is unsuccessful because perhaps it's out of gas or, the, or you forgot to turn the gas bottles on. The red light will come on indicating that. At that point, you'll have to turn it off, satisfy the requirement to light it, such as filling the gas bottles or turning them on, and turn it on again. If on your repeated attempt to light it after having satisfied that condition, it still does not light, it's time to visit your RV dealer and find out why. It is possible to use the switch, uh, both switches at the same time. That'll allow the water heater to light on 110, uh, or to heat on 110 rather, and also to light the LP gas, uh, reducing your recovery time. The monitor panel in the tow light models looks like this. It has four buttons on the front, one to test the battery condition, one to test the level of your freshwater tank, your black water tank, and your gray water tank. On the bottom of the monitor panel in the tow light models is the pump switch that turns on the 12 volt pump that supplies water to your faucets and to your shower, as well as the toilet. Simply push that to the left to turn the pump on. Classic models are equipped with this type of monitor panel. There are six buttons on the panel and they operate as this. The first button we'll look at is the monitor test. When you press the monitor test to the on position, it gives the condition of your battery, whether it's low, fair, or good, or if it's fully charged. The lights will come on as uh, to indicate such. It also gives the condition of your tanks, the uh, E for empty, one-third, two-thirds, and full. The freshwater tank is on the left. If it's full, the lights will indicate. The waste tank, that's your black water tank, is in the middle, and your gray or your fresh water waste uh, is on the right side. You release the button, the lights will go off. The next button is the refrigerator fan button. Anytime your refrigerator is in use, turn the refrigerator fan on. It makes the fan more efficient and uh, helps the refrigerator to cool better. To the right of that, you have your solar panel. If you want your solar panel to be on the charge mode, you turn it the same direction that the refrigerator fan is, which is to the left that will allow your solar panel to charge your battery. On the bottom row, you have two buttons that are marked water heater. That's because your water heater in the classic models is equipped with a 110 volt heating mode as well as an LP gas heating mode with direct spark ignition. If you wish to turn your heat water heater on 110 volt, you simply turn the switch to the left. Your elements will begin to heat on 110 volt mode. If you wish to heat, heat on LP gas mode, the same is true, you turn this switch to the left and the light will come on, eventually it will go off once it's lit. It is permissible to use both modes at the same time for faster recovery time. If you're using your water heater on LP gas mode and the light above the water heater switch comes on, it indicates a faulted condition. If this happens, check your gas bottles, make sure you have gas and that they're turned on, and then attempt to light your water heater again. And lastly is your water pump. That's your 12 volt pump. If your holding tank is full of fresh water or has fresh water in it, you can use the 12 volt pump to pump water to the faucets and showers.